Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Siantan. Sender has increased the minimum support price, MSP, of six rabi crops. Union Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar, in his statement made in the Lok Sabha yesterday, informed that a cabinet committee on economic affairs has cleared the hike in MSP of rabi crops, including wheat, chana, masoor, mustard, jowar, and safola. The MSP of wheat has been increased by 50 rupees and now stands at 1,975 rupees per quintal, whereas the MSP for masoor has been hiked by 300 rupees. Mustard's MSP has been raised by 225 rupees, while the same for Jana also has been hiked by 225 rupees. Increase in Jowar's MSP is by 75 rupees, while the same for Safola has been hiked by 112 rupees per quintal. Tomar informed that the government has sanctioned nearly 7 lakh crore rupees to the farmers for the government procurements in the last six years, which is almost double the amount that was sanctioned from 2009 to 2014 in the UBA government's tenure. The minister said the hike in MSP reflects the government's commitment to guarantee MSP and government procurement in the country. He reiterated that the recently passed farm bills in the parliament do not impact MSP or provisions of APMC Act in any way. Tomar also appealed to the farmers not to fall prey to the false or misleading political tactics of the opposition parties. Nagaland has conducted 74,423 sample tests for COVID-19 so far. State Health and Family Welfare Department said 46,554 samples were tested through RT-PCR, 26,565 through TrueNAT, and 1,304 through rapid antigen test. The department said that out of the 5,544 positive cases detected, the distribution across various categories of people comprise of 2,614 cases from armed forces, 1,449 cases of returnees, 1,154 cases of traced contacts, and 327 cases of frontline workers. The total recovery so far is 4,451 and the total active case is 1,052. A total of 141 positive cases are under home isolation, 42 in Dibapu, 94 in Kohima and 5 in Mon. A total 520 persons are presently under facility quarantine. Nagaland Legislative Assembly Speaker and Chairman of Joint Legislators Forum, JLF, on Naga political issue has convened a consultative meeting of the JLF, including both members of parliament tomorrow at Rodden and Drone Hall, Police Complex, Jumakedima in Dimapur. Commissioner and Secretary Dr. B.J. Anthony in a press release said the consultative meeting has been convened on the indication of the working committee of Naga national political groups. Anthony said all JLF members have been requested to attend the meeting positively. Parliament gave its note to the Foreign Contribution Regulation Amendment Bill 2020 with the Lok Sabha passing it by voice vote yesterday. In his reply after the discussion on the bill, Union Minister of State for Home Ministry Nidhiyanan Rai said the bill ensures that foreign funds are not utilised to damper the social fabric or disturb the internal security in the country. He said the legislation will bring transparency in the transaction of foreign contributions and their usage. The bill seeks to amend the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act 2010, which regulates the acceptance and utilization of foreign contribution by individuals, associations, NGOs and companies in the country. The bill adds public servants among the list of entities prohibited to accept any foreign contribution, which already includes election candidates editor or publisher of a newspaper, judges, government servants, members of any legislature and political parties, among others. Saki One Stop Centre and District Administration Perrin organised an awareness programme on child sexual abuse and personality development at Servanthood Ministry Children Home Perrin Down. The programme on activity-based learning with a theme towards a new way of growing and healing. 
OSC nodal officer and ESC parent, Anne Kea encouraged and motivated the children to find the passion and embrace the skills and talents they have and focus in their study as well. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day. Thank you.